Hi, hello, howdy. Today I'm going to walk you through my super simple, minimal car camping setup. Very soon I am going to go on one of my longest road trips yet. Mango, my Honda Element and I, we are headed east for something quite special. Can you guess which state we are going to? I have narrowed down what I think I'm going to need to seven essentials. I'm feeling confident, but there's only one way to find out. Even if you're just getting started, I think any good car camping setup can be broken down into four basic categories. Sleeping, eating, safety, and power supply. Number one, sleeping. We've all gotta do it. So if you saw my introductory video on Mango, you'll already know that this Honda Element has an e-camper. I'm not gonna get into that today. You can watch my other video if you want more details on that. But essentially, I wanted to make sure that I had a backup sleeping option for inside the vehicle. I'm already expecting to have some nights on the road where I'm not going to be able to use my rooftop pop-up tent. So, this is my solution. I've got backpacking gear that I want to bring, so I'm just using my air pad by REI and then a minus 15 degree sleeping bag as a makeshift bed. Could I live like this all the time? Mm, I mean, I could, maybe, but it would be really uncomfortable. But for a road trip, it's just fine. If you don't have backpacking gear, I'm sure you could just use like a folding mattress or a piece of foam or grab a sleeping bag with a bunch of blankets and a pillow and just make like a little nest on the floor, you know? Unfortunately, there's just not a lot of public land out on the East Coast, so gotta do what you gotta do. Next, let's talk about cooking. Kind of important when it comes to car camping. My plan is to use this two burner camper stove by Eureka, it runs off of propane, and then to keep my food cold, I'm going to use this igloo cooler. Eventually, I'd like to upgrade to a 12 volt fridge freezer combo, but that can wait. For now, I'm good with just the basics. Oh, and also, this cooler is going to double as my camping chair seat. So, covered. Check. <laughs> All right, so safety. As far as safety goes, in regards to this minimalist setup, all I need is water and a first aid kit. I'm not going anywhere outside of cell service, I'm not going out into the backcountry, I'm just going to be driving on highways and through towns and through cities. So for me, having drinking water, having water to cook with, having water for miscellaneous things or any sort of emergency if I were to theoretically or hypothetically get stranded, it's good to just have water on you. I think that that goes even if you're not car camping drink water, need it, want it, body likes it, um, and a first aid kit. Also something that should probably be in, in your vehicle, in your car, even if you're not car camping. Basics. We're keeping it basic. I can hear the doomsdayers now. But you also need, but you also need. I don't also need. I don't. Not this time. All right, and last but not least, let's talk about power supply. This is a portable power station. There are so many different brands on the market right now. I'm sure you can probably guess which kind this one is. The orange accents kind of give it away. But no, this is not sponsored. I bought this used with my own money and I'm really loving it so far. This is what I'm going to use on the road to power my phones, to recharge my computer, to recharge all of my camera gear. And eventually when I upgrade to a 12 volt fridge freezer combo, my plan is to use this to power the fridge. So before I head out on my road trip, I will just plug this in and charge it up in a regular wall outlet. And then while I'm on the road, my plan is to use the, um, whatchamacallit, the cigarette plug socket cigarette, shoot, words, um, cigarette lighter, oh my gosh, <laughs> the cigarette socket. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the cigarette outlet thinger majigger in Mango, my Honda Element. That thing. I don't know why some words are harder to remember than others. I can't tell you how many times I tried to film that. <laughs> I give up. So I'm not counting these items as part of the main essentials, but I do think they're important for car camping. I'm also going to be bringing along a little pot to cook with, a cutting board, some basic utensils and a mug for cooking and eating, along with olive oil, salt and pepper, some disinfectant wipes, propane for the stove, and baby wipes.
So obviously the best part about having a super minimalist setup for a car camper is that you can throw it together in seconds and you can also take it out in a matter of seconds. It's been really helpful since I'm helping friends move right now. You can surprisingly fit a crap ton of stuff in here, but down the road I do want more of a semi-permanent, more of a permanent build in Mango, just not quite yet. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're still in the design phase, we're still in the planning stage. It's coming together though. So at the moment, the spare tire lives here. This is part of the puzzle that I have not puzzled out yet in my brain. I think that I'm going to keep the spare tire where it is. I can't imagine having it somewhere else outside of the vehicle, question mark? Still in the planning process of that, figuring it out if you have any ideas throw them my way. But ultimately what I can imagine or what I can envision for this space is having some sort of mobile creative studio. I love photography, I love filmmaking, I love writing, I love reading, I love traveling, I love backpacking, so many different interests. And so creating some sort of mobile creative studio for this small space is the dream. All right, I'm asking you to use your imagination with me here for a second. Picture a shelving unit on this side with a flip out desk or something like that so I can work on my computer and then possibly a countertop with storage and or maybe that's where the fridge will go underneath and then on this side I'm kind of thinking some sort of bench seat with storage underneath for backpacking gear etc that can then convert into some sort of pull-out bed situation I think the dangerous part about me putting this into a video is that it may not turn out that way at all I have no idea sometimes it does feel like my brain is on the verge of breaking from all the possibilities that could manifest however having a blank canvas like this to work with is so much fun. It's one of the best parts of the creative process, I think. So we'll see. Mango will not be empty for very long. I've already decided, and I know, that I'm not going to be putting a sink in here. I'm not going to be dealing with gray water tanks. I'm not going to worry about a toilet or a shower. There's just not enough room. So that's eliminating a lot of like thought cramps from having to enter my brain, which I'm very grateful for. Anyway, by the time you're watching this video, I should be well on my way to the East Coast, putting my minimalist setup to good use. That's all I've got for you today. I hope it was helpful. I hope it got the creative juices flowing. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. East Coast, let's go! Testing. Can you hear me now? Great. Oh, I'm hungry. Need nourishment now. Thorny bushes, nice. Watch me just drop this all over the ground. Let's not. I'm ready for a nap. Hello, Mr. Spider, you need to go. Goodbye. There is a hair in my mouth, gross. <coughs> As always, so aggressive with the mic. <laughs> the thing about being a minimalist though is like there's not much to show. So watch this video be like three minutes long. <laughs> Yeah.